Okay, this is part two. I think you're confusing what's moral with what it means to be moral. Do you care to define the term? Well, I think I've made it pretty clear what I mean by it. You've said well-being. Is providing greater well-being synonymous with morality? Well, that's a goal of morality. Well-being is a goal, you know? And hopefully most people agree on the well-being being a goal. If you don't agree on that, you're talking about, you know, it's alien, you're talking about something else. But I can't stop you having another goal, can I? If your goal is to just make as much money as you can and fuck everyone else, that's your goal. You know, and you might base your morality about that. You know, me just sticking my finger out and saying, you're wrong, you're objectively wrong, it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's not useful to say that. Um, can I behave immorally and provide a greater well-being, or is that automatically moral? Well, it's not as simple as just what the outcome is. The morality, you know, it's more nuanced than that. It's to do with trying to do what you you think is right. It's, it's not just as simple of, you know, do good or do bad. Life isn't that simple. I mean, it, you know, if your life's been that simple up to this point, you've been very lucky. A lot of times you have to make compromises between two different outcomes, and neither of them are um, ideal. So, you know, something has to give, and you have to decide what. And not everyone is going to agree because they're not things you can easily compare. It's not like, what's bigger, two plus three or four, you know. That's not a matter of opinion, that's just a matter of fact, that two plus three is bigger than four. Um, but if you say, you know, this person's gonna be in pain the rest of their life, unless we give them an operation now, but the operation's gonna reduce their lifespan. So now we've got lifespan against pain, which is more important. It's gonna be a matter of opinion, there's no right answer. You know, you just say, well, no, it's correct that you always do it this way. Well, what does that mean? What does it mean if you always do it? That, what does it mean is it correct? You know, even if it is correct somehow, how does that have any practical use if, you know, people still disagree with it? They're not going to use it for anything. You know, like, the other things we define objectively, like I said, with mass, there's a, you, you weigh it, you weigh something, and then you use that number for a very specific purpose. But just telling people what their opinion should be doesn't make any sense. Uh, is it moral or ought one to deceive if it provides greater well-being? Well, there you go, that's a moral quandary, isn't it? Sometimes you might have to deceive someone in order to give them greater well-being. So you've described it yourself. That's a, that's a moral situation. And you have to weigh up, you know. Deceiving, you know, is generally considered to be a bad thing. But then, you know, if you don't deceive them something else is bad going to happen to him, you've got to weigh it up, you see what I mean? You're going to get a different answer from everyone. You seem to want there to be an exact answer for everything, and it, if there is one, this is of no use, because people don't necessarily agree with it. The way people arrive at their view of what is moral or not doesn't have any bearing on what it means to be moral. I don't know what that means. don't understand that at all. Uh, people may disagree on if a particular situation is moral. There you go then, it's subjective, you've said it yourself. They may disagree. What more do you want? In general, I find they agree quite a bit on what morality is. Well, that's not objective then, is it? It's subjective. It's objective with overlap. That there is a way we ought to behave and a character which is objectively better. Well, you've just gone back to objectively after saying people don't agree. Objectively means there's no opinion whatsoever involved in it. It's just a matter of facts if you do things a certain way. And you've just got through saying that it's not. That we can judge others, including cultures, based on moral choices. But yeah, we can judge them. We can say, by our standards, we think we're more moral than them. Because we're... But what use is that? And then they can just turn around and say, well, by, that, by our standards, we're worse than them. What does that achieve? And we stand there beating our chest and going, we're more moral than you. What's the point? What does that achieve? If you're ever going to get anywhere, you're going to have to communicate with these people... And if you think your way of doing things is better, you have to explain why. Just turning up and announcing that you're objectively better. What is the point of that? What does that achieve? You expect them to go, oh yeah, you're right actually. You're right, that is objectively better. It doesn't make any sense. Good and evil, justice and injustice, these are real things. No, they're not. You said before, you know, these are, these are abstract, abstract um, ideas. You know, you don't have justice floating around, you don't have good and evil floating around. You look at something and you think to yourself, that's just or that's unjust. There are things I think that aren't just that most of society thinks are fine. For example, I think owning animals as property, buying and selling animals as property, killing them for meat and eating them, I think that's immoral. You know, I think that's, 
you know, on the same kind of level of, as human slavery. But most people don't think that, do they? Most people think it's absolutely fine to have animals as property and kill them and eat them. Um, so who's right? If it's if morality, if morality is objective, one of us is right. What does it even mean that we're right? You know, I can make my argument that I care about animals, you know, as much as possible. So I do what I can to look after their well-being, and I generally don't do to an animal anything. Don't do anything to an animal I wouldn't do to a human. Obviously, that doesn't always work. There's going to be differences, but I try and live by that. Whereas other people, a lot of people just say, oh, they're only animals, they don't matter. So their goals are different to mine. Their goals aren't to look after animals particularly. You know, they might have a halfway house. Most people are reasonable enough to say, you know, we don't want them to suffer. It's okay to kill them, but don't make them suffer. Whereas to me, I go, well, no, it's not okay to kill them, actually, just because they're not suffering. You could say the same about, you know, it's okay to kill a human as long as they don't suffer. No. See, that's my opinion. I own that as my opinion now. I'm not just saying that's objectively right because it doesn't mean doesn't mean anything that's objectively right. If you've got different goals, you're going to judge situations differently. Even when someone behaves immorally, you see them trying to justify it. Uh, what? Well, yeah, well, they might think that they're behaving morally according to the, what they think is important, their beliefs. You know, if, if someone's an, a Muslim and they really think they've been taught since birth that everyone who isn't a Muslim is like a lesser being and it doesn't matter what happens to them, in fact, it's good if they die, you know, let's say they believe that, then as far as they're concerned, killing someone who isn't a Muslim isn't, isn't a bad thing to do, it might even be a good thing to do from their point of view and their beliefs. But from our point of view, we'd say, well, no, that's, that's terrible what you're doing. You know, but we don't agree with their beliefs or their goals. You know, their goal might be to please their God. Our goal is to look after well-being. So we're going to have different opinions on that. And what good does it do to just announce that you're better? I'm objectively better. That doesn't stop them going around killing people. If you want to stop them going around killing people, you've got a reason with them. I've never seen someone trying to make what is clearly immoral be called moral. Well, I'll just describe the situation. What about ISIS? You know, they could say, well, we're doing this for Allah, you know. It's really just take, religion taken to extremes, taken, you know, properly seriously. They really care about what God thinks so much more that it's more important than human well-being. Then we had a bit of a misunderstanding. I missed some of what you've said, so apologies for that. I didn't mean to make a spectacle on an arsenal of myself. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Then I was and waffle on after that. Yeah. So... Everyone's got their own opinion. You seem to agree that, and that's all there is to it. It's subjective. There's some overlap. That doesn't make it objective. So it seems that we agree from what you say. So I don't know where the problem is. Just insisting that there must be a correct morality and that we're all suddenly getting it a little bit wrong, and if, if we just honed in on it, we'd find the right answer. What does it mean? What does it mean to say it's the right answer? This is what, this is what I was trying to get you to define it. How can you say what is just and what isn't just without appealing to an opinion so that whoever looked at the situation would come with the same answer? You can't, can you? Because they're not, they're not well defined, they're not precisely defined, they're very vague. Um, and you know, what one person thinks is just and unjust changes over their life. You know, I've changed my mind about things over the course of my life. You know, I used to, I used to be eggs and drink milk and now I don't, I've decided that that's immoral, you know, I've, I've thought about it more and I've, you know, I've made a change from my point of view, I consider I've improved my morality, but I'm not going to say I'm objectively right because it doesn't make any sense, because that means everyone agrees with me and clearly they don't, and you know, I could make a case if people had the same goals as me that, you know, they're not doing it right and I could try and argue with them and, you know, bring them round, but if their goals aren't the same as mine, then they're going to say, well, I don't. I'm not as interested in that as you, so I'm not going to do that. So then what am I going to say? Well, I'm objectively right. What the, it's of no practical use. And of course, God hasn't been brought into it. Just God, does, God says this, God says that. You know, that hasn't been mentioned yet. Obviously, you're avoiding mentioning that, but you, know, you must feel that's in there somewhere. But you know, to me, that's just completely irrelevant. It's got nothing to do with it. All right, I think I've covered it all. Cheers, bye.